Welcome to Speak Life. Today, I want to pray for restitution. Let me say a quick prayer. Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I ask you, Holy Spirit, to speak through me. Lead every word that comes out of my mouth in Jesus' name. Again, welcome to Speak Life. Let's first clarify the meaning of restitution. It is when that which was lost or stolen is given back to its rightful owner. The repayment becomes over and beyond the original value. Joel 2.25 states, And I will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten, the cankerworm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. Joel 2.26 complements the preceding verse, which says, You will have plenty to eat until you are full, and you will praise the name of the Lord your God. Luke 10.9 states, We are God's children, and God has given us the power and authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Brothers and sisters, let us be overcomers and run the race to the finish line. If you are ready for a breakthrough, I ask you to repeat this prayer after me. Dear Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. God, I know that you must deal with sin. But when your people repent, we find abundant blessings that more than compensates for what was lost in the judgment. Therefore, I repent right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, that I am a child of the King of Kings. I know you have a good plan for me, and you have promised that all things will work together for the good because I submit myself to you and I am called according to your purpose. Lord, you say in Joel chapter 2, that you will repay the years the locust has eaten. You say that I will have plenty to eat until I am full. God, I thank you that you do not just want to repay, but you want to bring restitution, fair repay. I declare that the Lord will restitute what the locust has devoured. What the enemy tried to steal, the Lord will give because I have a giving God. I have a fair God. I have a just God in Jesus' name. I declare and decree every lie, deception, plot, and trick of the enemy broken right now in Jesus' name. I declare any witchcraft and curses spoken over me and my family canceled, nullified in Jesus' name. I decree that no weapon formed against me shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against me in judgment I shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and my righteousness is of God, says the Lord. I decree in the name of Jesus that the enemy may come against us one way, but he will flee before us in seven ways. I bind every spirit that tries to hinder my walk that you, Heavenly Father, have prepared for me in Jesus' name. 
I declare healing, wholeness, life, truth, and holy vindication into my life. I declare the hidden things to be revealed right now in Jesus' name. I decree the light of the Holy Spirit to shine into every situation right now, for where the light is, darkness cannot be. I plead the blood of Jesus over me and my family. I lose unity, forgiveness, truth, healing, the Father's love, mercy, and restitution into my life in Jesus' name. I bind every arrow the enemy has shot into my life in Jesus' name. And I cast those arrows to the ground, useless and of no effect. I claim victory. I claim restitution in Jesus' name. I declare the valleys be brought up and the mountains be brought low. I declare the crook places be made straight and the rough places be made smooth. I declare the glory of the Lord be revealed. Thank you, Father, for hearing and answering this prayer. Thank you for breakthrough. Thank you for restoring what the locust has stolen. Restitution I claim and receive in Jesus' name. I worship you, Lord. All glory to you, Lord. Thank you for what you are about to do. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. Please keep declaring this prayer no matter the circumstances, no matter your pain. We don't live by circumstances, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Be blessed.